Our changing climate has significant impacts on society and our environment. It seems like we hear news of floods, storms, and droughts almost daily. Will this continue, or does it represent a few abnormal years? Or is there more change coming? To find answers, we analyze biogeochemical archives in things like sediment core, speleothem, ice core, peat core, tree rings, and coral. From this analysis, we can measure important climate change factors such as the presence of greenhouse gases. We know the correlation between the greenhouse effect and global warming. With gas chromatography, we can divide it into methane, CH4, carbon dioxide, CO2, and nitrous oxide, N2O. But just knowing the amount of these gases isn't enough. We also need to analyze isotopes to understand the processes and changes in temperature. For that, we need to look at sediments in ice core samples. To analyze sediment, we drill cores into the sediment layer so scientists can collect fossils and use them to read past climate. Coral skeletons contain relatively high amounts of strontium, SR, and magnesium, Mg, and are sensitive to the water temperature at the time of deposition. High-resolution ICP-MS can be used to determine strontium-calcium and magnesium-calcium ratios in fossil corals, which are indicators for past surface water temperatures. Shells from animal and plant fossils also contain oxygen. When ocean waters are cold, the shells generally contain greater proportions of heavier oxygen isotopes. With IRMS, you can analyze the thermodynamic properties of clumped 18O and 13C. The water that forms glaciers starts as vapor from the ocean, which then falls as snow and is compacted into ice. The ice layers preserve water and air samples that are hundreds of thousands of years old. By drilling cores into ice, scientists can learn about climate changes and atmospheric pollution. With ion chromatography, sample impurities can be traced to certain cations, such as sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium, and anions such as chloride, nitrate, and sulfate. We can also analyze isotopes. When water evaporates from warmer waters, the heavier oxygen isotope 18O is left behind. As a result, the glaciers are relatively enriched with 16O, the warmer it is, the more 18O is evaporated, and with IRMS, you see the higher 18O proportion in that new layer. At Thermo Fisher Scientific, we believe that studying our past climate helps us understand climate change and provides clues that can help us plan for the future, which is why we support scientists with a robust portfolio of analytical equipment, including our triple quadrupole, multi-collector, and high-resolution ICP-MS, ion chromatography and greenhouse gas analyzers, and gas isotope ratio mass spectrometers, including carbonate device and thermal ionization mass spectrometers. To learn more about Thermo Fisher Scientific's instrumentation for climate change research, visit www.thermofisher.com climate research.